beautiful loves and welcome back to another episode of planning with Belinda where I'm gonna show you guys how I decorate my pages and this was inspired by Kate Spade I love sharing with you guys how I decorate my pages they're highly requested by you guys and it's just so much fun to film and like it just makes functionality a lot more fun so this was inspired by Kate Spade I love Kate Spade it's one of my favorite brands especially because of the iconic colors like black white and especially gold with pops of colors here and there so I started off by making out my own stickers and this is a great option if you don't have stickers available where you're at or if you don't want to buy them online and I made this template myself just using the Avery shipping label stickers which you just print out on a regular printer and then you can cut them out yourself. Now I'll have these downloads on my blog BelindaSeline.com so make sure to check it out. You can download them for free and cut them out yourselves if you'd like and if you don't have sticker paper that's fine you could print them out on regular paper and then just use some tape to stick them down to your planner. The options and varieties of way that you can decorate your planner are endless. So now I'm going to grab some scrapbook paper and this is from the Heidi Swap collection and I really like this black and white. I feel like this definitely screams out Kate Spade. So I just went ahead and made a little bit of a section where it's just going to block off this side over here which I don't tend to use and I can just write something over it if I like with like a sticky note or something like that and I'm using this gorgeous gorgeous washi tape and of course it's gold gold hearts which remind me of course of like the brand so I'm gonna go ahead and put that down and then just decorate a little bit more with washi tape and some that really remind me of Kate Spade like the sunglasses or just the glasses actually they're not sunglasses they're just regular glasses Glasses. And then I made this little banner right here. It says I heart Kate Spade and I actually turned the little spade upside down So you see what I did there <laughs> and then I'm just gonna go ahead and continue with more washi tape I absolutely love making my own stickers and you guys are probably wondering where I found the graphics and images that you guys see here well I found them on Pinterest and I also googled a bunch of them so if you guys want to know where you guys can find all of these especially like the cute little girl with her purse and her floral skirt you guys can go on to Pinterest and then look for Belinda Celine which is me and then on my board called planning with Belinda you guys will be able to find all of these and I put them on there specifically for this video so that you guys can find them easily and then I'm just gonna finish off by putting off some more washi tape and another thing that I also like to do is cut the edges so it looks like a little banner which makes it look so cute and we are done now let's grab some of our planner supplies. These were from Elle Fowler and I absolutely love her. Thank you so much. It just made this whole spread look complete and super cute with sticky notes and everything like that. And yeah, so now we're done. I hope you guys really like this. In my last video, I mentioned that I was going to Disney World and that I already got a head start on my June spread. So this is what my monthly view looks like for June since we're going on vacation that month. And I did the exact same thing for my weekly spread. And I also decided to make my own stickers for this spread as well. So I went on over to my Word document where I already have a template. And if you guys want to know how to make your own stickers and squares, then definitely check out my tutorial that I have. I'll have a link down below where you guys can find that video and make your own stickers as well. So I went ahead and just made sure that I had really bright, vibrant, colorful images. And of course, they had to be Disney princesses, especially like my favorite movies, of course, Jasmine, Belle, and Aaron. And then I also made some stickers that had the different worlds of Disney World like Magic Kingdom, Animal Kingdom, Hollywood Studios, and Epcot. That way I knew which days I was going through the week. And then of course the first thing that you want to do is just lay everything out, see if you like it, play around with it, and see how you want it to be laid out. The next thing that I did was just grab some really colorful washi tape and this isn't actually washi tape, it's just called glitter tape which is a little bit of a different texture, it's a little bit thicker but it still looks just as pretty. And then I continued on putting different kind of washi tape. Now the cool thing about washi tape is that if you don't like something you could easily just take it off and it's not going to leave any residue behind and it's not going to tear your paper. So I didn't like how that looked so I just kind of put it to the side because it kind of clashed with what I was going for. 
before and then I just went ahead and laid out everything to see how I wanted it and I really love the huge like images on the side. I couldn't find any stickers that look like this. Um, so I'm so happy that I thought of making my own stickers because it just looks like it's more vibrant and it really pops out and it just screams Disney to me. <laughs> In previous videos, I showed you guys how to hole punch scrapbook paper so that you can replace them on top of your dates. And it just adds a little bit more of a pop of color and it doesn't interfere with the layout of the weeks if you don't want. But this time I decided to make Mickey Mouse heads and make them into stickers so I can put them instead of the dates. I just think it looks so cute. And then I also made stickers for each theme park since I needed to know specifically which day we were going where because of our dining plan. And for the dining plan for Disney World, you have to make recipes reservations within weeks in advance otherwise you will most night likely not be able to have dinner at the place where you really wanted to so I had to make sure to write that down so that we won't forget because there's also like a cancellation fee I don't know there is a lot of planning when it comes to Disney World on vacation so I had to make sure I had all of that I hope you guys enjoyed this video and don't forget to follow me on my second Instagram called Plan with Belinda and use the hashtag Planning with Belinda when you show me your decorated pages and I'll see you guys in my next video. Muchos besos. Mwah.